I am Nola Knows Everything, and I'm going to teach you how to tack up a horse today. Um, so we'll get started. Just I need to put on my helmet first because you always want to be safe around horses, and I know everything, so that's why I'm still alive. First is to make sure you're following all of the hip new styles, such as the backwards helmet. It's what all the cool kids are doing, so now that I look cool and hip, let's get started. This is my imported miniature. Clydesdale Cross named Jessica. She is worth probably a million dollars. Um, as you can see, Jessica is already very clean, so there's no need to brush her, but I will show you anyways. My horse has a very rare coat where things grow in patches, as you can see here, and with the saddle pad area. And at the tail, it's very rare and very expensive. First things first is that this is the type of brush you want to use on their coat. It does the best job and takes off the dirt and massages their skin. This is what all the experts want. Okay, so now that Jessica is all clean, it's time to saddle up and put on protective gear. Right, Jessica? Because that's your name, and you're not at all insulted by what I've been doing to you already. It's very important to get quality tack and put it on properly to keep your horse safe. Make sure you put on your half head properly. You want these facing towards the tail so that they catch the wind and your horse gets a more elevated hind end. Perfect. You look great, Jessica. Damn! Zoom in here on the saddle pad pacement. See, it's perfectly placed. And these are facing the hind end to catch the wind and elevate the hind end to get the horse off the five hand. So, perfect. The next step is putting your saddle on. As you can see, it is well placed, and perfect. You really want to see that nice gap where you can look through and see the wall. That'll help distribute shock, and this is it from the back. As you can see, it is perfectly straight and not leaning to one side at all. Jessica is thrilled. You put on your protective boots last so that your horse's legs don't get too sweaty and fall off. Okay. These are the only types of girths you want to use as dressage saddles because they um, match the black really well and you need a long girth to go with the long billet so that it fits properly. This is a well-fitted girth. You can see it hanging loosely in the wind. It'll hold the saddle on there really well. And that is perfectly safe. So from the other side, just another angle. 
as you can see, it is not touching his stomach at all. That is perfect. That's exact. It won't cause any rubs and it's less abusive to your horse and it also keeps the rider safe. Trust me, the saddle's not going to move at all. It's time to put the boots on, so make sure you stand right in front of your horse to get a good shot first. Like this, so that they can easily run you over. This is much bond. Very awesome. Jessica loves me. So we're going to grab the boots. Just want to look at how awesome my saddle looks one more time. Jessica is thrilled. Two different types of leg protections. One is jumping boots, and the other is polo wraps. And I'll show you how to do this properly. This is the area that is most likely to get hurt by stuff hitting it. So you want to make sure that part's the cover part. Oh, sorry. Like this. This is cupping the knee nicely. And push your knees around. And you always want to make sure these straps are facing the front. Ta-da! looks beautiful. Okay, we'll just give you a closer look at that. How perfectly protected his leg is. It looks great. Next, you want to make sure that the leg is nice and clean, as you can see, before you start wrapping. And then you're going to start like this and just wrap all the way down the leg. All the way down the leg. You need to protect those knees. And then as soon as you can't wrap anymore, just just put it wherever. Put it wherever, man. Just look at that. He's all protected and ready to go in just a second. The next thing we need to do is put on the bridle! As I've said, it's very important to make sure your tack matches. So we're going to get a nice dressage bridle. And we're going to put that on him. This bit is pretty harsh, but he can handle it. Okay, Jessica. Are you ready? Make sure you take off everything so that if your horse spooks, they can easily run away from you. Like so. And then we're just going to push this into your mouth as hard as you can. And perfect. Don't do up anything. It'll all be okay. It won't go anywhere. So, this is Jessica, all ready to ride with the reins hanging haphazardly on the ground. Jessica's very nice, expensive dressage saddle, perfectly placed, custom fit. And Jessica's clean face with the hair nicely out of the way in her dressage bridle. And Jessica's safety boots, one of each. All good to go, properly wrapped, and the perfectly fitting saddle with the girth. Jessica looks great. Just because there's always that one person who doesn't get the joke, this is obviously a joke, don't do anything the way I did, and no, this is Milo, not Jessica. I was just joking. He's very, very insulted. Good boy, though, for dealing with that bad stuff. It's like you put the saddle on bad.